Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jocelyn Lovely Tarot. So good to see you guys here today. This reading is for my Scorpios. Have a good night. Have a good night, everybody. It's Saturday. Uh, it's a good night, I meant to say. This reading is really eerie. I love it. It's, it's my Scorpios. If you resonate with the video, like, share, and subscribe. And I am doing personal readings at the moment. My email is on the link on my profile. Click on it and then you can reach out to me, okay? Hi, right, we're starting off with the Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> Usually this is a great sign, right? Um, Ten of Pentacles is generational wealth. It's you at your happiest financially, emotionally, spiritually, any any type of currency, whether that's spiritual or, you know, tangible, you're at your peak. There's always room to grow and explore, but when it comes to creativity and pro passion projects, you're at a, a hundred. You're at a ten. Completion, right? It's also, it signifies 10, like uh, the end. The end. You're done with this uh, certain uh, project or you're done with this cycle. Whatever you've been working towards to grow and change and, and, and create like the level of abundance, you've reached it. But today, I'm getting records. Like record being played. Like music. Like melody music. There's a lot of abundance with sound, voice, sound, okay? I never got that. Usually my readings are about seeing, right? Vision, pineal gland, meditation, and being able to see stuff. But but the but what I'm getting the most, if you take a look at judgment, right? <clears throat> I understand, you know, the cards say one thing, but I'm getting like, I'm getting a lot of messages, right? This person... The, you see this? This is like someone delivering news, a message, something important, right? But, but but look, the divine knows exactly what it's doing. It knows exactly what it's giving you, know exactly at what time, divine timing, it's giving you something, an announcement or whatever it is. You don't seem to understand. You seem to doubt. There's like mistrust or doubt in what the divine is doing right because you're looking at the divine or you're expecting something and you're pointing out your hand but when you're pointing out your hand you're not really it's like you're expecting something to come into you tangible you're expecting to receive something like um to see something the divine's telling you listen my child listen the message to update the news it's not something you can touch. It's something you have to hear. Right? And I'm getting music. Melody. Like, I'm getting melody. It's a wands. It's a nine of wands. But it's it's, it's like... Um, it's almost like saying, Hey, um, we're trying to communicate with you through, through music. Sound. Vibrations voice through other people right so so keep your ear open even when you meditate when you meditate you know most of us focus on this but it's like we forget about what 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 are we hearing here some of you guys are are, are thinking you're like overhearing things or are not trusting yourselves when you receive messages <clears throat> So they're saying, hey, this is how we're communicating with you. Think outside the box, right? Because you got the page of swords. It's 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 news, messages coming in, but it's also it's also swords, so it's communication, right? But it's it's thinking outside of the box, it's of the mind of logic. Think outside of the box. Think from a higher perspective, right? Receive messages in a different way, is what they're saying. Be open to that. Because not it might not be vision. It might be like sound. You hear of something and it clicks. Some of you guys are noticing that like you're when you're sitting still, you're hearing um, the next steps. Some of you guys are smelling, sense of smell, sense like when you're really in tune, you're sensing spring. Some of you guys are smelling and hearing springtime through birds, through animals, right? It's almost as like you could hear the animals too. You can hear them. She's not looking at the animals. The animals are there, but she, she, they're there. You can't see it. It's it's what we're saying. You can hear it, though. Some of you guys are getting like... Uh, it's, it's almost as if you know something big is about to come in. You sense it. Every part of you sensing it. 
clairsentience, right? It's up at its peak. It's like you can sense it. You can't see anything, which is why when this message or news or communication comes in, whether that's from the divine's next steps or whatever, you're not going to see it coming. It's going to catch you by surprise, but not really because you're sensing it. Everything else is active and alert, but you just can't see it, which is why some of you guys are doubting it. But some of you guys know it's like you, it's, it's you know. You got the eight of wands again, this fast moving energy. It's almost breaking through uh, the sound barrier. It almost reminds me of frequency. It's high pitch, fast pitch, and it's, it's, it's going to move so fast. It's almost like it's going to hit you too because you see this person inside their bubble. They've created a, an oasis, a haven. You've created all of that for yourself. So when this fucking news or whatever it is, this signal comes in, this frequency comes in, it's going to hit you. It's going to br literally break the glass because this is your life. This is you inside of your bubble. This is you and your mindset. It's like of the mindset, right? Living your own life, being in your own frequency and it's like everything's about to change. Some of you guys, see, he's not even looking, right? It's, it's almost as if like pineal gland, you're sensing everything. And you see, look at the bird again. It's like something's going to come in and it's going to, look at the birds again. Birds here, bird figure, shadow here. It, this is the messenger. Next steps, flight, communication. But again, you can't see it. See? Third eye is activated. You can't see anything, right? But that third eye is activated. It's aware of its surroundings, whether, you know, there's no proof of not. You're very aware of what's around you, what's being spoken to you, what's what's highlighted for you, what's catching your attention. It's like you can see it all. All right. Then we have Mercury Mind, right? Again, more birds of the logic of the mind, but I'm getting more of, it's almost as if like you, it's almost as if something, something is going to come in and it's going to transform, right? Because you see this thing, think of alchemy transformation of the mind. It's almost as if like you're going to be pushed out of your own reality or you're going to appear. It's like the reality you're in, it's done. And you're about to like really understand, right? This this world, right? Remember earlier I talked about you being in your own world. It's almost as if they, whatever this news or frequency or thing that comes in, it's going to get you outside of the world. You're going to be outside of it. That's when you're going to realize it's going to be proof that you're, you're done. This whatever comes in is the proof that you finished, right? Because then you get uh, eighth house. That's ending and beginnings. That's your proof. Then you get 10th house again, the world, ending, endings, you got three endings, you got the world card, 10th house, the world, right, it's the t timing, tick, 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 it's almost done, you're done, it's, it's like days, weeks, I don't even think longer than 30 days, it's a new beginning. And some of you guys, I'm telling you, like, you guys are sensing spring coming in. You're smelling it. It's almost as if it's, it, 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 it's, it's the reason it's notifying you now. It's because this, this change, this message, this manifestation is so big. The frequency change, it's so big. It needs to warn you now. It needs you. The divine is telling you, pay attention now. Because it's once it comes in, you're going to be taken aback. It's going to be too big. To process right away you're going to need a couple of days to really understand what's going on it's going to take you so it's going to take you aback right aquarius we're ending with aquarius i know but you know it you know you know it's going to change your life you know it's going to change the world the minute this new message or whatever it is that comes in It's, it's going to make you sad in a way because it's just going to go by like that. You're going to be sad because you're going to have to adjust to the changes. You're not, I don't think you're going to have much time to adjust. That's why, that, that's why it's like uh, this message had to get out. All right, guys, that's all I have for you, my beautiful Scorpios. Till next time. Bye.